on today's market breakdown we're looking at the dxy g u a u and e g so i'm gonna start with the dxy on the daily chart then firstly i'm just gonna zoom out and just look at the overall structure On today's market breakdown, we're looking at the DXY, GU, AU, and EJ, EG. So, looking at the DXY on the weekly chart, uh, I have this high here, of which is a value area, and then a mass psychology area, of which price broke. So, looking at this low here, and then I'll be looking at this as my highest high here, and then to the daily chart. Uh, that's why I'll be focusing like on the structure around here and then looking at that structure that broke the mass psychology area I can see that the market is giving me an ascending channel already and then that ascending channel has like two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom so I'll be expecting a third touch or a double top so looking at this like this and then I'll be expecting a double top or a third touch around this area here for us to look for sales up until the 90% rule or up until the overall low of day of which is this one here so moving to the 4 hour it's still the same thing you just check for momentum we just move it to the downside it's still the same thing you just check for momentum so let me just put this around here and then this can be like our middle section an impulse up and then middle section and then another impulsive leg to reach the third touch and then we look for cells from there so let me just remove those and then on the hour chart this is what we're looking at so I can just place like in an arrow around this area like this just to indicate that we're looking for sales and moving to GBPUSD so I'll start on the weekly chart let me just refresh the charts before. and then looking at GU on the weekly chart uh, we had like this low here as a mass psychology area and then we had like this high here and then as you can see here price gave us like some type of an expanding with two touches at the top and i think we have like three touches at the bottom yeah it's three touches but i'm just gonna rein this one back just because i'll be focusing like on this area here so moving to the daily on the daily chart already you can see that the market has impulsed back to the upside uh, like this let me just as impulse back to the upside so we can look for further continuations to show that we are going to the upside since uh, the dxy will be selling so it's a good correlation so moving to the four hour uh, there's no pattern that i can draw around here so i'll just show you like the thought process of everything so i'll be looking for a buy around here just because uh, we have like this impulse correction impulse and this would be the larger correction with the double bottom within it and then a descending channel so I'll be looking for bias on this one let me just remove those drawings and then let me just illustrate everything and then we have the descending channel approaching like the double bottom area of which is a high value area then moving to the one hour then on the one hour I'll be looking for the market to break structure then I'll be looking for a long around here stop loss just below here and then the market will just break the area give us like some form of a continuation 6 to 8 hours 
then you look for buys let me just put that nicely you look for buys stop loss just below then you're targeting like the third touch on the outer structures let me switch back to the four hour then you're expecting the market to reach like this area here at the top of the structure so looking at AUD USD on the weekly chart so let me just refresh so on the weekly chart you can see that AUD USD has been moving to the downside very impulsively and then we are approaching a high value area around here and another one is around here and then I'll be using like this high here as my highest high moving to the daily let's switch to the daily then on the daily I think the market will just drop a little bit just to get people caught in the wrong side around here before we can push back to the upside so let me just remove those drawings then now my analysis will be like this this is the overall trend to the downside as I said so this is the overall trend then we have like the one two then you have the one two three like this so yeah I think this is the trend that we have so far and then moving to the four hour so on the four hour already the market has reached like that area so let me use like this as another pattern or then the pattern like this sorry about that let me use this one here as a pattern or then a pattern like this so i'll be looking for buys soon after we break this uh, pattern and then get like uh, a form of a continuation six to eight hours tight flag uh, around this area here stop loss just below just take profit around here and then i'll be looking for the market to reach like the overall high or the 90 percent route the overall high around at the top and then the overall 90 percent rule around here so if you don't get like that tight flag then i'll be looking for the market to break structure and then come back up with a form of a tight flag within here then i'll be looking for buys around that same area at the lows and then i'll be protected uh, by structure around there so looking at euro gbp on the weekly chart so on the weekly chart let me just refresh the chart so on the weekly chart you can see that uh, the market gave us like some type of a wick around here and then the market tends to feel like those wicks most of the time but we are still looking for sales so we have this high here and this high here so I'll focus on this one and then we have this as our lowest low let me just put like another ray line at the top then moving to the daily you'll see that the market has been trying to go to the downside and then we have this as our overall structure let me draw that out so this is our overall structure so on the lower time frames we will be focusing like on this area here and then let me just remove that then moving to the four hour you'll see that we have some type of a head and shoulders that has been formed around this area here this may be the left shoulder this is the head and then this is the right shoulder trying to complete around this area here and we look for cells so uh, my thought process on this one is that you'd have like this high here and then let me move to the hour chart so that I can analyze it properly then on the hour chart we're just analyzing like the right shoulder so that we can get like an entry so the market will be in this type of form then you can look for a third touch just because we have the first second and then we can look for a third touch or a double top then we can look for sales but for you to be on the safer side you can just look for an impulse down and then